I think I think it's just the fans just seem to really uh, enjoy the band, seem to really dig it. I mean, it's it's nice, especially when you play new songs. We played quite a few new songs of uh, our currently out <laughs> EP, and uh, people seem to just really receive it. There was a lot of people that didn't know the band, and they seem to really get into it really fast, which is always you know a great feeling. Times where we've uh, had a few drinks, but not a lot of time for really. There was one night where uh, me and Gav decided that at the end of the night we drink, I think it was four bottles of red wine on the bus after drinking all day. <laughs> and uh, we destroyed the front lounge, spilled red wine everywhere, and uh, our tour manager, he was <laughs> nasty smack on the wrist. <laughs> Basically, uh, I've known, known the boys for a long time. I used to be in another band called Honda McLean, and uh, we actually toured with Funeral about, I think it was about five years ago now. And because uh, I know the guys, they sort of contacted me, asked me if I'd be interested. Uh, they sent me over a few tracks. I, I put down my bass lines, and they really liked what I played, so I got the gig. Um, before, I've, like, uh, Gav was playing uh, bass before, he's a guitarist. The bass player, Gareth, before that was a guitarist as well. So, for me, I'm, I want to bring an element of a big, an actual bass player, not a guitarist playing bass. I want to try and, you know, play it more as a bass, as opposed to a guitarist trying to be a bass player. So. Uh, I just love the way that they're able to write such heavy music but keep such a, a beautiful sense of melody. There's, no matter how heavy it gets, there always seems to be just a real great melody. And I think that's what a lot of metal bands lack, is melody is memorable. I mean, you can do a little... You know, all that kind of stuff, but it needs to have melody to be, you know, memorable. I think that's what they got. Yeah, so I've actually uh, done quite, you know, been quite a big part of the writing process. There's actually two songs on the album which I wrote, which is really nice. Uh, the guys have been great when I've come with ideas and stuff. They've always welcomed them and you know, we've tried them out. It's been great. I've helped them quite a lot. It's amazing. It's amazing because I keep getting. People keep saying that you know, I'm a great bass player, I'm a great guitarist and stuff, but you know, it's trying to have too much of a big head. <laughs> but it's amazing coming from, you know, such such an accomplished musician as Ryan. It's nice. To, you know, I think, you know, people always think, you know, oh, it's, it's all about the fame and it's all about the money. It's, it's nothing to do with that. It's, for me, it's having people, you know, enjoy what I do and like what I do and get compliments for my playing. And that's, that's all that matters to me, really. It's a bit big, it's a bit big. No, I never once thought I'd go over to South America. I mean, it's somewhere where I'd, I would always, you know, I'd love to go on holiday and stuff. Never had the opportunity and to go over there, you know, and play music. It's, it's crazy. And actually, the maddest thing is our Twitter account has just been bombarded with Brazilian fans just wanting us to go over there. To be honest with you, I think that's how it came about. It's just we got bombarded so much. There was such a high demand that they put the gigs on, so I'm very excited. Uh, basically, when we come back from Brazil, we have Christmas with our families. Uh, the album's already been recorded. We've actually started up a new pledge campaign, which has already gone up. So if you'd like to check that out, it's pledge, pledge.com. Uh, we're going to run that up. The album should be released probably end of March, beginning of April. And then we're just going to tour our bollocks off. <laughs> and do pretty much as many regions as we can, really push the album. So, not a lot of time at home. <laughs> um, 
It depends what kind of music you're talking about, but if being a fan of, a fan of a band, a metal, I think too many metal players ignore the drums and just follow the guitars, always lock in with the drums. The drums, it's like a marriage, a drummer, a drummer is your best friend, you play with the drums, you listen to the drums and only the drums. And if the bass and drums are really tight in a band, the guitars will just sit lovely on top and you've got a great band. Um, what I like about Warwick is just the, the, the feel in your hand. Like, uh, I can explain it. I used to play Ibanez basses, I've also played Fenders, and I find people tend to play a lot with their thumb over the neck, and I think that's a bad playing position. But with a lot of Warwick basses, they're shaped so you can keep your, your hand, your thumb back, like this. You can see that. It's a better playing position, and actually gives you a better stretch. So I like the way the necks are shaped because it's really easy to play. And also with the Warwick basses, they've got this very, very kind of low mid growl. It's very powerful and, and it sits very nice in the mix, I think. And they're, they're made exceptionally well. I don't, don't think there's many other basses made to this quality, so that's why I'm sticking with them. <laughs> I just like to say to the fans, thank you very much for uh, pledging and making this possible. It was a wonderful uh, experience recording it. There's a lot more coming. The album sounds absolutely amazing. If you enjoyed the EP, the album's ten times better. And uh, thank you very much for being supportive.